time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of TCG Battles. Today we are taking on Matt Destiny Arrives, so if you guys are hyped and ready for this, make sure to hit that like button because it is greatly appreciated. It lets us know that you guys are enjoying this content. Uh, so we are going into our very first match with the Rayquaza, and I'm not going to hold off any longer. We're just going to get straight into this. Um, it's going to be a pretty exciting match. Um, I'm not sure the level of Matt. Like, I don't know where he stands. Lately, we've been getting a lot of players who are brand new, um, which has been amazing. I love getting new players. I love getting older players. I love getting players in general to come out to this good old battle of ours. Uh, he does know, though, that we are going to be doing a best two of three sets. So there is that. We get to see our game run twice. And he gets to coin this. He gets to call this coin toss. But we are going to win it. Uh, it'd be good idea if we go first. We're gonna go first this match. See how it goes. We have a shaman. Start. That's not good. And we don't really have much to go by. This could be a problem. Alright. I apologize. <sighs> so he's got Yveltal, and he's got Inke. We're going to go for this Trainer's Mail, see what we can get ourselves into, and that's going to be the Ultra Ball that we need. Alright, so... I'm going to Ultra Ball away... the Lysander. And the Steel Energy. We're going to get ourselves a Hoopa. Good ol' Hoopa. This way I can get my Rayquaza, I can get myself a Shaman, I can keep myself in this game. Uh, yes, I'd love to get three additional Pokemon. So we're going to get ourselves a Rayquaza here, Shaman, and for all senses of the word, why not get Magearna? Alright. So we're going to be able to actually Mega Evolve turn one here. We're going to go zoop. Attach that Spirit Link, get the Mega Evolution off, attach a nice Double Colorless Energy to that Rayquaza, go for the Magearna, and here comes the Shaman. So we have a bunch of cards, and that ended up being not a bad little hand for us. I even got a Flowstone to get that Shaman out of there. Uh, we can go for the Mega Turbo, and get that Steel Energy onto the Rayquaza, look at that! Bursting into the action here with a turn one Mega Rayquaza that's ready to attack. Uh, so we're going to just drop another... Do I actually just opt to go for a Shaman instead of the Rayquaza? Let's do it. Let's get some more card draw. If I can get that Stadium in play, that'll be great. I cannot go for the Hoopa this time. We'll grab the Shaman, and this will give us a few more cards. A few more cards so we can get it, and we did get the Skyfield, which is exactly what we wanted. And I can go technically for a Hex Maniac, so he can't use his Shamans this turn. Which is a very slow start for him. So there we go, Hex Maniac. And we are going to end the turn. Shaman is a perfect little wall until I can get Rayquaza up. I can use the Super Rod to get that Rayquaza I did ditch earlier back into the deck. So it's not that big of a deal to lose that right now. And we have a few options. Like we didn't get a draw supporter, but we did manage to get through half the deck pretty early. So we see a Trainer's Mail. And a Floatstone, so he might be attaching that Floatstone to the Inke. Or he might be trying to switch in and get that Yveltal started up. I don't understand the fighting energy. But that's alright. Um, we shall... We shall retreat our good old Shaman. Go into the Mega Rayquaza. And I'm gonna opt to get an Ultra Ball. There we go. This way I can get myself a mega er, another Hoopa. 
which will increase our damage output here, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we can ditch the steel energy. I gotta ditch the super rod. You know what? I might actually feel comfortable ditching the... I can ditch the Via Seeker. It's a risk, but I'll take it. We're gonna get the Hoopa, and we're gonna be able to get some more Pokemon here. here. I'm gonna actually opt to go for that Super Rod now, get that Rayquaza and the two Steel Energies back into the deck. And we can go for a Hoopa here, and we're gonna get our another Rayquaza out, which is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna grab both Basics and a Mega. Now we're putting on really high pressure here. Turn one, well this is technically game number, or turn number two for us, but look at this. Emerald Break is going to take out Yveltal EX in one turn. So we get a Rayquaza and a Skyfield, so if he does counter our stadium, we have that in check. We're okay. This poor little Inkay might be in trouble. This little Inkay might be in trouble. But the way that started out was we Hex Maniac so we couldn't use his own Shamans. We we stalled him out, got a good attacker turn one. Our Rayquaza cannot be affected by, by pretty much anything other than damage, thanks to the Mystic Heart ability coming from Magirna. So, we're actually looking like a fantastic start to this match. He actually gives us the turn, and we're just going to end game one right there. Mega Rayquaza, three turns, game set. Not match. Not match. Now, don't count this guy out yet. We had a good run on... T we had a good first game. But... We don't know what my opponent is altering up yet. He has the Vitoli X. He has the ability to do some damage. Can he come through in game number two? We're about to see. Let's go. Game number two. And we're in. We're going to see if he can come back. Take up a nice run on this one. Uh, hopefully, our opponent has a much better start in this one than he did in the last one. Because uh, we only did see the Yveltal in the active position without a Dark Energy even at that. Uh, but we did get a really, really fast turn. Like, we went boop, 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 and done. Rayqu Mega Rayquaza was ready to go turn one. He actually opts to give us turn one. So, we have a Mega Rayquaza start. Only thing we're missing actually are the energies. Uh, but we can get that, no problem. I'll keep Hoopa in my hand for the actual turn. This way I can benefit from his ability. And we see a Lucario EX, which I actually resist, so I do apologize for that. That might be an hindrance on you. Um, we're gonna throw down the Skyfield. We're gonna throw down a Trainer's Mail. I'm gonna take the Skyla, because I can Ultra Ball that away. So we're gonna go for a Hoopa. Yes, please. Three cards of the finest of glory. We're going to grab a Mega, a Shaman, and... You know what, Magirna? You can come through here. We're going to grab Magirna as well. So here we go. Can we get ourselves another nice little advent adventure here? We're going to go with the Mega. Boom! Big old Mega Rayquaza turn one. Throw down the Magirna. We're going to Ultra Ball up. Ditch a couple more cards. And I almost want to get a full bench here if we can. Get a Hoopa. Play down the Shaman first. Benefit from the first Shaman, I can grab a second one. Okay, that seems like a good plan. Uh, if I can get the double colorless energy, I get a steel energy. Well, we gotta drop it down, and we're actually gonna drop the Hoopa, get ourselves a couple more Rayquaza set up. Uh, just the one there. We're gonna take you. And we'll take you. 
I don't think I'll use that last shaman. I'll use one now before the end, but I won't use one prior. Another Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Shaman. We could draw two more cards. Very nice. Do you have to be on the bench? No. I'm gonna hold this turn. We're set up. We're ready to go for round number two. Uh, and like I said, we resist. Uh, is this resist? Is not affected by resistance, so we're going to be guaranteed to take 30 damage, no matter what. 30 damage, I'm alright with. We have 220 HP! That thing isn't going anywhere! Is it going anywhere? One fighting energy down on the Lucario as NK makes its appearance once again. And, uh, are we able to see... Like, he's going to get some damage off here. Uh, we do have the double colorless energy to drop onto the Mega Rayquaza. It has a fighting fury belt, so this Lucario is actually going to be around for two hits, for sure. I do not have enough damage to actually put out that kind of output. Um, so we're going to take 40, actually. He did not have a strong energy, so Mr. Jab will do 40. But again, that's alright. We're doing alright here. We're going to drop our double colorless energy. We can now attack. And... I have no reason to go for the shame, because I'm only going to draw one card. The abilities can be turned off. I'm going to stop him from gaining shamans, so Hex Maniac comes down, and I'm going to go for the Emerald Break, which will not knock him out, it's 210 damage. I should have gone for the shaman because it would have knocked him out. My math is off. Oh well. That is, that is the mistakes we make when we're playing TCG. If I had played it, I would have knocked out the Lucario. We would have literally had the same game as last time. Uh, now he can go for a Corkscrew Smash, but I do resist it, so it'll do tw uh, 40, 50 damage. So we'll do 10 more than the Missile Jab, but it will let him get additional cards. He still can't knock me out, though. He needs something real powerful to be able to do that. So he does 50. And he's going to take the two additional cards, most likely. Here! Yes, he does! We grab a Steel Energy. Uh, I will drop the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get the Steel Energy on a Rayquaza. Steel Energy on Rayquaza, sounds good to me. Uh, we will drop the Shaman. This way I'll have my full damage output. Get a Trainer's Mail, Steel Energy. We'll go for a Trainer's Mail. In case something happens, it's better to have the Lysander. So we'll take the Lysander off this one, but we will be able to knock out this Lucario here. So let's turn three. We've gotten the Lucario out of there. We got double colorless energy and another Rayquaza. This is great. This poor NK has seen Rayquaza twice now. And he can't do anything to me because the only thing he can do he can only do 10 damage. I'm not affected by the ink spit. Uh, there is another Lucario though, which is actually really good because I can actually just up that up and eliminate that immediately. Um, I'm not threatened by the ink. It's doing 10 damage to me. Whereas the Lucario is like, oh my god, this thing sets up and that's actually a lot of damage. Not to Rayquaza, I'll admit. Not to Rayquaza. But, uh, here he goes, has a Malamar on the table. No energy, though. That is the issue here. No energy for Malamar, so he can't go for an Entangling Control, can't go for a Trash Tentacle, because he just he just doesn't have anything. Um, and I do not believe the Entangling Control will work, because I do have a Steel Energy on Rayquaza, and McGirna's Mystic Heart specifically says, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to each of your Pokemon that has any Steel Energy attached to it. Existing effects are not removed. So, as far as I know, Entangling Control won't do anything. Trash Tentacle? I'll take 30 and I'll lose a card from my hand. Or put a card from your discard pile into your hand. That affects him, not me. 
Uh, so let's see what he can do here. I do feel like this is a very one-sided match. Oh boy. Um, so I know this is probably lunchtime, depending on when you guys are watching. There is the dark energy on the Malamar. Uh, this is lunchtime for you guys. I actually just had dinner when I was recording this. Uh, fourth wall broken. Taco night for me at my place. Taco night is the best night of all. I love taco night. I love having my, my ground beef and my salsa, and my cheese and my lettuce. Beautiful. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, well, it's all right. I have a float stone. Retreat into the Rayquaza. And now pull out that Lysander because that's how we're going to get this. We're not threatened. We're not even in a pickle. Emerald's Break is going to knock out Lucario. 240. And that's two more prizes. Trainer's Mail and the Mega Rayquaza. Haven't got a Spirit Link to Mega Evolve it though. Uh, Malamar is back in. He is able to go for another control into something else, but I have a double colorless energy that can pretty much consume any retreat costs on any of the other mods. Has a Yivatil though. Uh, the Yivatil has the Oblivion Wing, which lets it attach a dark energy from your discard pile to one of your bench mods. So if he does decide to retreat, he has a fighting energy on the Yivatil. Hmm. Okay. I know that energy was more likely for Lucario. Entangling control, where are we going this time? We're going into Hoopa. Well, thankfully, I have a double colorless energy here that I do not need to use. We're gonna retreat back into that Mega. And we're gonna go for a Trainer's Mail. Can I get a Spirit Link? I do not, but I get a Float Stone. That is even more better, because now, now, I'm all right, because whatever Mon he decides to tank, well, he's not going to be, because I'm going to just knock this thing out right now. Um, I don't really need... I know. Via Seeker into Skyla. It's always good to be prepared. You don't know what you're going to be posing. So we're going to go into the Skyla, and we're going to play it. Get ourselves a Spirit Link. Just drop this down here on the Rayquaza. Go for the Mega Evolution. Uh, we cannot play a Steel Energy this turn. Uh, so we are going to go for the Emerald Break. That is right, I played the Double Colorless Energy. Uh, we're going to get rid of this Malamar before it opposes us too much longer. No more tricky business. We have another Rayquaza Spirit Link, which is awesome. Not that I need it now, though. Uh, we do see the Evelatil come up. And will it be enough to knock us out? He still needs to do, what is it? 130? 130 damage? He's gonna do 130 damage to knock out this particular Rayquaza. Now I'll bite, I've ditched a, um, I have ditched a double colorless energy, but with the steel energy in hand and the mega turbo, he has to pass the turn. That is unfortunate, as this will be the game here, guys. Emerald Break is strong. Rayquaza, now that Night March is gone, Mega Rayquaza is going to be huge. Barring in mind, I think it's got one whole weakness, and that is Parallel City, but we're going to see how well we can go with this week, guys. Uh, that was, again, wow. I just screwed that up big time. Thanks comes out to Matt, though, for coming out, giving it a shot. He played fantastically for what he had. He had the Lucarios, he had the Evatol. He put in a fantastic match for what he could do. Um, so no doubts to that. Mega Rayquaza just came out and hit him so hard that and fast that it really gave him a hard time setting up. And that is what I think the new standard's gonna be. The Megas are gonna finally shine now that the little itty bitty Night Marchers are gone. Uh, but that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are excited for this continuation of Rayquaza, make sure to hit that like button, because I greatly appreciate it. It lets me know that you guys are continuing to enjoy these little videos. And again, make sure to check out Matt. He is, his, his Twitter link will be in the description below. I've got my tongue tied a little something I can't talk about. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Time out.